Hello, welcome back. In the first video, you learned how to make the yellow emoji base, and in this video, we're going to make a face for our emoji. This is the Cindy Lou Pins custom emoji set. It contains yellow yarn, plastic canvas mesh, yellow felt for the back, a pin back, and black yarn. Now, because this is a custom pack, you can do any type of face that you want. There's no right or wrong way. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the knots for the eyes and also talk about how to stitch the mouth. And the first thing we need to do is tuck in our yarn in the back. So we'll go under a couple stitches there and pull it through. Whoop, too far. Let's try that again. This will lock in the yarn. There we go. Okay. Now you can start with the mouth or the eyes first. I'm going to start with the mouth. And I think for this emoji, I'm going to make a frowning mouth. Now on the first stitch, be careful that you don't pull too hard because you don't want that part that we just locked in to come out. The thing about stitching on the top like this is that you need to do every other stitch. If I tried to go back up this same hole, the yarn would either knot and tangle up, or it would just pop back out. So we need to plan ahead a little bit and do every other hole. You also need to be careful because it's a lot harder to Pull the yarn out if you make a mistake. If you do make a mistake and go in the wrong hole, what you'll need to do is unthread the needle and use the back to pull out your mistake, pull it through, and then re-thread the needle. Uh, it's easier to just try not to do that to begin with. So be careful of where your stitch is going. Now I've made my frown, I'm going to go back across. Okay, now it's not an exact science, so you can do it however you like. That's how I did my frown. You can do a deep frown, a shallow frown, a smile, a neutral face, anything you want. This is your custom emoji. Now the next thing we have to do is the eyes. These, this is called a French knot, so we'll do that. First you need to decide where you want your knot. I want mine right here. So what I'm going to do is go down one hole and make an outline. I'm going to make a little diamond around where I want my eye to go. Again, notice how I'm skipping stitches. Now for the actual eye, we're going to go in the middle. You're going to want to put your emoji down for a minute because this part requires two hands. Take your left or non-dominant hand. You're going to wrap the yarn around once, twice, three times. Hold it with your left, hold it taut, and get the needle back in the same hole. This can sometimes be a bit of a struggle. And there's your knot. Now we're going to do the same with the other eye. First we outline it. Look, I made a mistake. So we're going to unthread the needle. Use the needle to pull this out. This is why you want to avoid doing this in the first place. And then re-thread the needle. It's a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world. 
Okay, let's try that again. So I want to make a diamond to outline where my eye will go. Of course, if you're doing a wink face, then you would just design the wink eye pretty much the same way you design the mouth. Decide where to put the stitches, do every other one, and then go back and trace over. Here's my diamond. Now I'm going to go up through the middle, put it down for a minute, go around once, twice, three times, pull it with my left hand, and then go back through the same area. Continuing to hold here with my left thumb. This is called a French knot. And there we go. There's my emoji. Now I have a couple extra inches left at the end. So these we're going to just tuck under the back. And then cut off the excess. There's my custom emoji.